When Judy Smith showed up at the trailer home of her son, Brent Smith, last weekend, nothing could have prepared her for what she found inside, Brett's decapitated body. She described the gruesome discovery to a dispatcher in a surprisingly calm call to 911. He's in the bathroom, but his head's missing. But what? <laughs> his head isn't there. I don't know. I know it sounds really weird, but... Wait a minute. You're in his trailer, and yeah. you see him in the bathroom? It looks like him. The legs do. North Canton police later arrived to find the 34-year-old's head elsewhere in the trailer. The town's police chief is at a loss to explain the situation. We're pretty crime-free, and I think the last time we even had a murder was about five years ago, and we, we solved that one. But uh, to have something like this happen is, is, is just a little unexplainable. The victim's neighbor has been arrested for allegedly vandalizing Smith's trailer, but police haven't said whether he's connected to the beheading. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press. 34-year-old Brett Smith decapitated body was found inside the bathroom with a knife sticking out of his chest. He was wrapped in plastic and covered with paint. His fingers and thumbs were severed, and his head was found inside the oven, partially wrapped in a burnt newspaper and cloth. The cause of death was later confirmed to be manual strangulation and blunt force trauma. The investigation led to William Perry, Brett's 41-year-old neighbor with a criminal history. In October 2009, William admitted to killing and decapitating Brett after an altercation. William was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole.